everyone. Welcome back to The Beat Presents. We're very excited to have our guest today who just performed at this year's Fall Fest here at Purchase College. Please welcome Fote's Ensemble. Thank 
Kevin. Thanks for coming Hello. on today. Anytime. Yeah, and uh, so you guys played Fall Fest this year. How did that go for you? It was really fun. Um, yeah, they uh, reached out back in September, uh, and we had played. Uh, I had played with this group for my recital last year, so everyone knew most of the material, and so we just jumped on it and started rehearsing. Um, and Fall Fest was awesome. They were like a great turnout. And, yeah. Uh, a lot of energy. Yeah, and um, so you don't usually play with a full band and it's kind of a new thing that you've been doing. How does playing with a full live band compare to when you perform as a solo artist? Yeah, um, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, we, we've only done it twice so far, I guess three times, including this. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm used to, at least with Fote, performing solo, more of like an electronic DJ act. Um, and I've always had trouble performing this music live because, um, you know, it's electronic music. There's tons of layering going on. Um, and, you know, the last album I just uh, released, I never, like, really pictured performing it when I was making it. Uh, it was more about just, like, the creating process and being in the studio. Um, but, yeah, when I started to consider playing with other, like, um, musicians, uh, it worked out really well. They just kind of came together. There were so many different melody, melodic lines, um, kind of enough for a whole horn section and beyond. So. And uh, the song that you just played for us is originally a song that you created as a solo artist on the album you released this past September. Mm -hmm. Explain to me how you turn a song like that, that you don't create with a full band, and write it and then play it with a full band. Yeah. Um, well, naturally, a lot of my music has... Uh, it's like really uh, melody based, um, which translates well to specifically horns. I've always like had such an obsession with live horns, ho like horn sections. And um, so I was actually kind of surprised. I didn't think it would work at first. Um, and I was kind of, I was encouraged to do it for my recital. I was, you know, part of my ma major, I have to do a recital. And I could either give them recorded music or do like a live show. I've always done recorded music, so decided to switch it up. And um, yeah, throughout the process, I just I, I wrote out lead sheets. I wrote most of the notated most of the music, um, and it was a little rough at first when I was just showing individual parts, like just bass. I was like I couldn't really visualize it because um, I'm used to producing with a computer or synthesizers and hearing it immediately. Um, but yeah, a few weeks down the line, when I just brought everything together, it, it really worked out. Um, so yeah. Cool. And uh, so you spent some time in Africa a few years ago. Um, mm -hmm. How has that affected your music or influenced your music and how it's evolved? Yeah. Um, I'd like to take another trip because it feels like a dream now. It was like, yeah, I guess it was four years now. Um, and yeah, I mean... At that time, I was listening to like a, a ton of African music uh, for the trip and post trip, and um, yeah, especially like the rhythmic part, uh, like the rhythm, polyrhythmic uh, nature of African music, specifically West Africa is where I went. Um, so a lot of that music, um, going there and playing with musicians there, had a huge impact. But I think like at this point, over Overall, it was just like interacting with people there, just like on a personal level, um, and seeing how dedicated people are to one thing, um, like in their culture and, and like, uh, um, I guess just try to put this into words, but just on, on a level of like not being able to afford a lot and having like one instrument. And uh, a lot of the musicians there would just spend their whole life playing just drums, just like one drum and they'd become like masters at that one skill. And I've always been like so all over the place, so like distracted of like what type of music I wanna make and what I wanna do. Um, so that was like really kind of assuring to go there and uh, see people, it kind of like slowed me down for a second and I just got to see people like putting, like uh, dedicating every day to music or and getting everything they can out of this one instrument and like using it in every way they possibly can. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. In a nutshell, it's hard to wrap that trip up into words, but. <laughs> <laughs> but you definitely want to go back sometime and. Yeah, visit. definitely. Um, 
Yeah, and I've actually thought I um, really want to go to Brazil. That's kind of – I've been thinking about that for a while. And as a drummer, um, I've been listening to a lot of Brazilian music, and I really love uh, their rhythms and their – Awesome. Um, well, you're going to play another song for us. What do you guys have to play next? Um, next tune is Reconstruct. Um, this is the instrumental version. There's a, a singer named C Floor on the album version. Um, so, yeah. Awesome, great. Let's check it out.
We're back with Fote, and uh, so we're going to do a short little exit interview. Um, where do you get your most influence musically from? Um, I mean, of course, listening to new music and being exposed to new music, uh, especially music that's like so far contrasting to anything I do. Um, but also um, traveling and, and just going to new um just new air like just visually i guess new visual stimulation going somewhere i haven't gone um and like the seasons changing that kind of helps when i'm in one environment for too long I, I get like too um cooped up so traveling and uh kind of getting out do you feel like you get too cooped up here at purchase being here for a whole semester or a whole year yeah i have in the past <laughs> fortunately Currently, I've gotten off campus a lot. I've been in the city a lot on the weekends, and um, but I've been here, I think, two weeks now without going into the city or leaving, and I'm, yeah, I'm ready to... I understand the feeling. <laughs> yeah. Um, so who would be your dream to see play Culture Shock this year? Mm. Um, I think uh, I really like Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings. Are you thinking realistically or like... Or? Anyone you want. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't <laughs> I know how realistic it is. She's probably like pretty expensive at this point. But uh, yeah, I saw Sharon Jones in the Dap Kings senior year in high school. Um, I still feel like it's one of one of the best live shows I've ever seen. What kind of music is it? Um, she's like kind of like retro throwback funk soul. Um, the way they record her music too has a really like retro sound to it. But, yeah, she just put on such a great show. Um, she just talked to the audience so much and gave, like, background about all the songs and how they were about, like, her mom throwing out a, a boy out of her house. It's, like, <laughs> like really funny personal stories. So. Yeah, she's, like, a good performer in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and uh, so what do you have planned for after college? Um, I really want to... Anything besides going home, I think. Um, I, my goal is to do some type of touring. I've connected with some um, like booking agents in Europe. So I'm hoping to, yeah, play some shows in Europe and um, maybe settle down in the city for a little while. Um, but I definitely want to stick with my friends who I've been living with here because uh, they're like a huge inspiration musically. Um, so, yeah, probably live in the city with my friends. And cool. Make new music. Yeah, definitely. And uh, so where can we find your music? Uh, it's on, right now my, uh, the album I just released is on Bandcamp. Uh, the record label is called Astronautico. And I have um, most of my music on SoundCloud and Facebook. and Under the name Fote? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it should be. I got a Twitter <laughs> recently, so that's there. <laughs> yeah, I was, no, I was never that. a big Twitter person. <laughs> yeah, I was. I owe my friend twenty dollars for getting one, <laughs> so I told him I was gonna hold off till two thousand fifteen. Yeah. All right. Well, um, check out his music. Look on Fote under SoundCloud, Facebook, Bandcamp, Twitter now. And uh, thank you so much for coming on. Totally. Here's one thank more. you. What are we gonna hear next? Uh, this is. Oh, this song's called "Wipe the Sleep from Your Eyes." Awesome. Let's check it out. Oh, 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 oh,